Hi, do you know why you can't say very fantastic, but you can say very beautiful? This is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World, here to help you improve your English with minimum effort and maximum benefit. And today I'd like to explain to you a problem that many students of mine have. They often say to me, oh, it was very fantastic. But it's not possible to say very fantastic, even though it's possible to use very with many adjectives. The problem is that there are adjectives which have a degree and are called gradable adjectives. Those are the majority. For example, beautiful, you can have very beautiful, more beautiful, less beautiful. You can have various degrees of beautiful. But fantastic is the ultimate. You can't have something which is more fantastic than something else because fantastic is already the extreme. The same goes for absolute adjectives which are even more extreme and have other rules. Anyhow, to help you understand all these rules, I'd like to go through it systematically. So, have a look at this document, will you? Many of my students say it's very delicious. It's very fantastic. However, it's not always possible to modify the meaning of an adjective by using the adverb very. Why is this? Gradable adjectives. So the most common adjectives in English have qualities that can be measured by different intensities. That means we can make them stronger or weaker by using adverbs like a bit, a little, quite, pretty, very, really or extremely. And for this reason they are called gradable adjectives and they usually describe feelings, temperature, size, age, beauty, social status, etc. Examples. She was a bit surprised when he proposed to her. That restaurant was quite expensive. Walking through those deserted streets was really frightening. I'm extremely busy at the office these days. So as you can see here, a bit is making it sound surprised, but just slightly. Quite is giving the impression that it's relatively expensive. Really is intensifying frightening and extremely is making me sound as if I'm really, really, really busy. Common gradable adjectives can be also used in comparative and superlative forms to compare two or more things. So my apartment is big, but the apartment next door is bigger, which is a comparative, and my parents' house is the biggest apartment in the block of flats. So that's a superlative form. But we can also make the comparison stronger. So to make the comparison stronger we'll use far, much, a lot. And to make the comparison less strong we'll use a little, a bit. Tim is taller than Mary, but we can also say Tim is much taller than Mary or Tim is a bit taller than Mary. So we're making it a lot stronger or slightly stronger. Then there are the non-gradable adjectives and most of these are called extreme adjectives or non-gradable adjectives. And these have qualities that cannot be measured with different intensities because their qualities are extreme and they already contain the idea of very in their definitions. So we can say it's big, it's very big, it's really big, it's extremely big and the extreme word would be huge. But we can't say very huge because huge already incorporates an extreme feeling. 
so huge is the maximum and nothing can be bigger than huge therefore we can't say it's very huge it's extremely huge it's already the maximum the same goes for small we can say very small really small extremely small and minute which is an extreme at the other end you can't say it's very minute because minute already incorporates an extreme feeling so see the following table to visualize these concepts better if we start in the middle here we can go up or down and the yellow are the gradable adjectives so it's big it's very big it's gradable so we can use very it's gradable so we can use really it's really big and it's gradable so we can use extremely it's big it's very big it's really big it's extremely big also small it's very small it's really small it's extremely small and so we can say very with big and small because they are gradable adjectives instead at the extreme ends at the top there is huge and at the bottom there is minute and uh, i've put them in blue because they are ungradable adjectives and we cannot use very with these okay so it's huge is the maximum and it's minute is the minimum and there is nothing we can add to make them more of this quality they are at the extreme and that's why they are ungradable and that's why we call them extreme adjectives because they are at the two extremes at the two ends of this scale if you see the only thing we can do to give extreme adjectives a little emphasis is to use absolutely, completely, utterly or really. Here are some examples. It's absolutely freezing outside, but it can't be colder than freezing. I was utterly terrified you can't be more frightened than terrified she was completely stunned you can't be more surprised than stunned the location was really amazing so these are not really grading it they are just giving a little more emphasis to the actual adjectives non-gradable adjectives cannot be used in comparative and superlative forms so if Mount Everest is massive which is the maximum it can be it's an extreme we cannot say it's more massive or the most massive because it's already at its extreme some examples of extreme adjectives are amazing ancient awful boiling delicious, enormous, excellent, exhausted, fascinating, freezing, gorgeous, massive, minute, terrible and terrifying and tiny. So these are just some examples, there are more, but they are all at the extreme, so we can't use, for example, very with them. Now another kind of non-gradable adjective is an absolute adjective and these describe absolute qualities because something can't be a bit dead or very dead. If you are dead, you are either dead or you're not dead. There's not an in-between being dead or not. The same goes for finished. Either it's finished or it's not finished. It can't be a bit finished or very finished. So these are absolute qualities and there is no in-between. Therefore, they are non-gradable. Again, 
to give absolute adjectives a little emphasis, we can use absolutely, completely, or totally. It's absolutely perfect, for example. It's completely finished. And the tornado totally destroyed the village. These are emphasizing the qualities of the absolute adjectives, but it's not grading it, it's not giving it more or less. Some examples of absolute adjectives are acceptable, dead, destroyed, finished, free, impossible, necessary, perfect, ruined, unacceptable. Now, an important thing to note is that the commonly used adverbs really, fairly and pretty are regularly used both with gradable and with non-gradable adjectives. So, it's a really interesting lesson. This is a common gradable adjective. It's a really fascinating country, is an extreme, fascinating is an extreme adjective, and it's non-gradable, but we can still use really with it. So, really, fairly and pretty can be used with both. Pretty being a synonym of fairly, so approximate. So, that was quite a lot to go through, and I'd like to summarize it for you, just so you have a better overall view. Have a look. Summarize with most adjectives, so gradable adjectives, we can use the following adverbs. A little, a bit, slightly, fairly, rather, very, really, extremely. And some examples are, he's rather good at maths, he's very thirsty, this dress is a bit dirty, this hotel is extremely expensive, they're a little tired, we're immensely grateful. Instead, with extreme or absolute adjectives, which are non-gradable, we cannot use these adverbs. So, we cannot say, I'm rather furious, and we cannot say, it's extremely fantastic. However, to give extreme adjectives additional emphasis, we can use the following adverbs. Absolutely, completely, and utterly. Examples are, I'm absolutely exhausted, I'm completely astounded, and the film was utterly hilarious. Uh, the words really, fairly and pretty can be used both with common gradable and with extreme non-gradable adjectives. Uh, so, this toilet is pretty clean. Uh, it's a common gradable adjective, clean. The bathroom is pretty spotless, is an extreme non-gradable adjective. This museum is really interesting, is again a common gradable adjective, whilst the story is really fascinating, is an extreme non-gradable adjective. But in any case, we can use pretty, really or fairly. With extreme or absolute adjectives, we can't use comparatives and superlatives. So, American cars are enormous, and American cars are more enormous, or the most enormous is not possible, because enormous is already an extreme. Now, here I've made a table with examples of regular, extreme and absolute adjectives, just to have uh, an idea, but they are only examples, there are many more. So, in the first column we have common gradable adjectives, in the second column we have extreme non-gradable adjectives, and in the last column we have absolute adjectives. So, angry it becomes furious at its extreme. Bad can be terrible, awful, horrible. Big can be huge, massive, gigantic, giant. Clean can be spotless. 
clever can be brilliant and on the right hand side not connected to the ones I just read some absolute adjectives are complete equal essential fatal first cold becomes freezing crowded becomes packed dirty becomes filthy funny becomes hilarious good becomes fantastic excellent or wonderful happy becomes delighted hot becomes boiling hungry becomes starving interesting is fascinating nice lovely old ancient pretty gorgeous and some more absolute adjectives are full ideal infinite married pregnant unique universal unknown true finished free further common adjectives which become extreme adjectives are sad devastated or miserable scary terrifying small tiny surprising astounding tasty delicious tired exhausted ugly hideous wet soaked and more on the other side we have absolute adjectives necessary acceptable dead destroyed impossible perfect ruined unacceptable here you can see the complete table but i can also add it to the description i'll add a link to this table so you can have it if you need to download it at all to conclude there is the problem of colloquialisms so sometimes native speakers use the following expressions colloquially when speaking it's the very first time I've ever done something and this is actually unusual what you say is very true Swiss watches are more unique now as we've explained these sentences are grammatically incorrect because we don't use very or more with absolute adjectives but in certain cases even native speakers speaking colloquially don't follow the rules and this is something important to bear in mind that the rules are flexible and when we speak naturally we sometimes do make mistakes but I wouldn't even consider them mistakes I would consider that a natural language evolves and some expressions just become natural even if they're incorrect an example is McDonald's where one of their slogans is we're loving it now grammatically you cannot use the present continuous with the verb love but they've made a slogan out of it and now it's acceptable to say we're loving it even if it's grammatically incorrect so it's important to remember that however many rules we have then native speakers will colloquially adapt the language and it becomes acceptable over time so don't be surprised if you see expressions like it's the very first time, it's very true, it's more unique. I'll put some online exercises that you can practice your absolute and extreme adjectives with in the description below. But I'll also put a link to the PDF so that you can download the complete PDF with all this information if you want to consult it further. Finally, I'd like to share a graphic that EnglishClub.com has made in which you can clearly see the gradable and the non-gradable adjectives. So in the middle we have hot and cold, which are gradable, and you can say fairly hot rather hot hot very hot and extremely hot all gradable but when you get to the maximum to the extreme which is non-gradable you have boiling the same goes for cold we have fairly cold rather cold cold very cold extremely cold and then the extreme, which is non-gradable, is freezing. So I find that this uh, clarifies it further. And I hope that this helps you to understand the difference between gradable and non-gradable adjectives. 
gradable being uh, used with a lot of adverbs, whilst non-gradable in reality cannot use adverbs to intensify the meaning because they are extreme. Now, because this topic needs a lot of practice, I recommend, and I'll put it down in the description below, some websites where you can go and practice these extreme adjectives with the correction uh, directly online exercises which are corrected. And I hope you found this very useful for you. I'd like you now to write in the comments below some examples of extreme adjectives and how you can describe things using these extreme adjectives and if you found this video useful and you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and please click the notification bell so that you can be notified of other videos when i upload them and i look forward to seeing the next one bye